Okay, let's do it. Here. I literally have people texting right now for tables. So let us go. Oh, talking about your birthday. Like, oh, really? A lot of people showing up for you. And we're like, already? Hi. Good. Hi. Hi. Guys, Hi. love us here, guys. How are you guys? Good. good. You look good. Love and Lamar, my own republic, but I'm kind of the face of it. I mean, look at their Instagram. It's like, all me. It's a lot of pressure at 24 years old, but I'm the bitch that runs the bitch. I love service girls and Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Joey Bottles, you're going to be Dr. Bottles. Oh. You know, we have Leva's birthday. Yay. And um, I get a text. She goes, we need you to order a doctor's outfit. And I was like, yeah, well, like, what shirt should I wear? And she goes, oh, you're not going to be wearing a shirt. <laughs> People could call me man candy, but I was not always the guy that, you know, girls were looking at. Definitely wasn't like, you know, the heartthrob when I was younger. I was short and chubby. I hit puberty late. I was the only guy without pubes. Once I grew six inches and got my braces off, and everything kind of changed. I feel like things turned out pretty decent for me. <laughs> so first and foremost, obviously, I just want you guys to pay attention that it's not a typical night. It's a lot of like my friends, business friends, but I know that we like hold the bar high. But reminder that like, I need you to stick to those standards. Make sure you're, you're still the South, you know? Yeah. Half the ladies <laughs> are gonna be wearing like shift dresses and Lily Pulitzer and you guys are walking in like Victoria's Secret. So just make sure that you're, someone's alarm going off. Yeah. It's my birth control. This is the time you choose sure. to take your birth control? Um, at lineup? Can you go grab my birth control, babe? Yes. Oh and my uh, little <laughs> yellow purse. <laughs> yeah. that's, so that's, that's so cute. That's so cute. Oh, you, you got oh, oh, special yeah. delivery. Don't forget it. Please don't forget it. Please don't forget it. <laughs> well, and I have been dating for six months. I'm definitely getting my money's worth out of my birth control. Me and Will having sex five times a day is normal. I love Emmy. I did my time as a single man. You hook up with... 50, 100 girls, it gets old at the end of the day. You know, if you try everything on the menu, then you know what you really like. So, it was, you know, a buffet. The last thing I want to add in is that you don't just work at Republic, you work at Republic DMG, which is the entire group. My husband and I own four restaurants on King Street, each one with its own unique vibe. I want you to have such a good time in one of my restaurants that you'll just walk up the street to another one. You're partying at Republic, and then you can just walk down the street and hit bourbon and bubbles. It's a win-win. It gets part of your job. We need to be moving business up and down. Why don't you guys go down to bourbon and bubbles? That's what I want you guys to be doing, you know? Give them Grace's number. So I'm just confused why she's so unavailable. Yeah, why is she so unavailable? Love it. She's taken three of the last five weekends off yeah. to go on trips. Several, like a month off. And then she's like, where's my money? And it's yeah. like, you're not at work. There was a time where Grace and I were best friends. She used to live in my house for a couple months and boys would flood to us. We would always like to party. But like, as soon as I came into Republic, I grew very quickly and like took the reins, became queen on everything. And like, Grace is just jealous. No, but that's the thing is, is like, she was my Joe Bradley before I had Joe Bradley. Like you and I yeah. could sell out bourbon and bubbles in a RP. Listen, in my workspace, I can't fire somebody for your feelings about them. The rivalry between Maddie and Grace got so bad that they were throwing water bottles at each other. I had two drowned rats coming back to work at the front of Republic. And so I separated them, just like you do two toddlers. Right now, I'm keeping Maddie busy at Republic and Grace down at Bourbon and Bubbles. Lord help me. Okay, so to get back to it. Hi, Mikkel. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. I thought he got suspended. He's in trouble for promoting other clubs. Will you go set an offer? Yes. Yes, I'll you. Yeah. <sighs> so, any questions? Why is Mikel here? This is my business, right? You have to trust my process. If you don't trust that process, that means you don't trust me. Yeah, sorry. You guys are winning. You guys are the dream team, and I want you guys to make a lot of money. Okay, bye guys. Bye, Lava. Bye. bye. Why do you think Mikel is here? She's a business yeah. lady. Like, she sure. sees it as an opportunity. She sees the connections that he has. From my point of view, he was good. He was yeah. the person when there was like a two top come in, he'd be like $3,000 minimum, and they'd be like, Okay, and it would blow my mind. If he really wants to be part of this company, he should be bending over backwards. He should have his tail between his legs. 
How's it going? Good, good. How are you? Good, good. Um, so let's, you know, get down to business. I always like to be super, super clear. Yeah. Um, you were hosting a party for another space, right? Yeah. A new magazine hired me to promote their launch. And we had several events, but one of the events were at a rival club. I paid Mikel to bring the party to me, but he took the party to someone else. That does not work for me. People are like, where does Mikel work? Like, does Mikel even work for you? Lamar's not happy. There's one of the guys, Mikel, that works for us, and Lamar, like, personally invested the time with him. He did not tell us that he was promoting a magazine at another club. Personally, I'm done. If it were up to Lamar, I don't think he would be here right now.